Good morning, Midway. It's Friday, May 28th, and I'm Laura High. And I'm Krista Nyson, and these are your morning announcements. Attention all students who live out of area. If you want to take the bus next year, you need to pick up an application at the office. All students who have a board-issued laptop should return it to room 143 if it is not currently in use. These laptops need to be turned in for necessary updates and inventory audit. Please ensure you give it to a teacher when you drop it off. Medway, the time has come. Auditions for next year's show, Les Miserables, will begin Monday, June 7th and run until t Thursday, June 10th. Please see the posters around the school and call board outside the pack. You must prepare a legitimate musical piece. No pop, please. That shows your vocal range, musicality, and dramatic ability. And be prepared to sing no more than two minutes of your selection. A reminder to all girls in the triple trio that there is a practice at lunch today in the vocal room. Medway sent two students to the Regional Skills Competition for Construction. Patrick Flannery reports. I'm here with John and Jan to find out more about the Tech Skills Competition. Uh, when was the competition? Uh, it was May 18th. And uh, where was it held? It was held at uh, Rim Park in Kitchener, Waterloo. And uh, what did the competition consist of? There were many different events. We were in the construction team of two event, but there were other events like baking, auto work, welding, machining, stuff like that. Oh, sounds good. And uh, how did you guys do? Uh, we finished fourth out of 26 teams. That's uh, very impressive. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, Medway. Back to you, MTV. Thanks, Patrick. Congratulations to Medway's Science Olympic team, consisting of Steph Gurr, Wes Johnson, Amanda Murray, Adam Newsom, Joachim Van Galen, Ben Van Holtzendorf, Caitlin Watson, and Carly Wilcock, competing in three separate events at the London District Science Olympics held at Western yesterday. The team brought home two seconds and a third place finish. Well done, team. Attention all girls rugby members. There will be a brief mandatory meeting in room 204 at the beginning of lunch. Please bring your $5 for the bus. Also, if you have any outstanding balance for t-shirts or team fees, bring your money to receive your shirt. Today at lunch, the Relay for Life team is holding a barbecue selling hamburgers and hot dogs. All money raised is in support of the Canadian Cancer Society, so please come out and show your support. This week, Mr. Boyd's class was putting physics to the test. Matt Sammer finds out more. Hi, I'm here with Denise Keller, and we're going to be talking about the physics popsicle bridge. So, Denise, what can you tell me about the bridges? Um, you had to have 50 popsicle sticks, you had to use construction glue, and it had to hold a minimum of 88 pounds. Okay, so how many classes took place in this? Um, two, one period one and one period two. Okay. Was there like a contest to see who could hold the most weight? Yeah, there was, and there was uh, chocolate as the prizes. Oh, nice. So you won these contests. How much did your bridge hold? My bridge held 143 pounds. Wow. I'm here with Ollie Essaus and we're talking to him about catapults. Ollie, what can you tell me about this project? Basically, we were to design and then build a catapult that had to shoot about 50 meters or so. And the record that people were trying to beat was approximately 86 meters. So, Okay, so how many people were taking part in this? There was approximately eight of us that chose to do this project in our physics class. And did you guys make it a contest? Maybe a little bit, but there, the contest was kind of finalized in the end, clearly. Why clearly? Well, later on, me and a buddy of mine actually did a shoot-off, and I managed 147 meters, so I, I clearly beat any record and definitely set the record. And my teacher actually named me king of the catapults, which I'm quite proud of. All right, well, thank you, Ollie. Back to you, Medway. Thanks, Matt. Members of the girls' soccer team are to come to room 130 today at the beginning of lunch for a brief meeting. 
This past Wednesday, Student Council held elections for executive positions of male co-president, secretary, and senior representative. The executive members are... Male co-president is Lee Jansen, and female co-president is Alex Hayes. They will be responsible for guiding the student council on being a link between the principal and the student body. The social convener is Leslie Manning, and she will be responsible for booking and organizing all school dances. If you have a question or concern about a dance, ask Leslie. Our treasurer for next year is Ada Saeed, and she will handle student council money. Next, we have our newly elected secretary, Alicia Lenny. She will be responsible for keeping student council organized and keeping on track of all ideas at meetings. Laura Douglas will be our public relations rep, and she will make sure that everyone is informed about upcoming events. Finally, we have Yu Wan Song, who will relay the wishes and concerns of the graduating class to the council. Please feel free to approach any of these students if you have any questions or ideas. Also, grade rep nomination forms will be available today outside of the student council office. If you would like to be part of next year's council, please pick up a form and hand it in to Mr. Appleton. Thanks to everyone who participated in the election and everyone who voted. Now here's Justin Hoagie with some insight into the weekend's weather. Hi, I'm here with Hoagie for the weather. What's the weather going to be like today, Hoagie? Chance of rain, high 25. What about tomorrow? Sunny, high 27. And Sunday? Sunny, high 30. What else is new, Hoagie? Who wants this kid? Back to you, MTV. Thanks, Hoagie. Last week's teddy bear picnic raised over 500 bears for the Children's Health Foundation. We would like to thank everyone for their contributions and for helping out, including Miss Walls, her first period class, and the peer supporters. The winning class was Mr. Hurst with a total of 215 bears. Thanks, Medway. Now, before we wrap up, here's the second edition of our three-part documentary. Classes will be dismissed directly after the show. See you next week, Medway. Welcome back to part two of Behind the Scenes at MTV. Today we'll be following around an ENG team. So Craig, well, what's, what's, what's ENG today about? Well, I'd love to tell you, but I can't because it is very secret. Interviewing the grass. You're interviewing grass? Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? You let us all the way out of here to interview grass? This is going to be probably the worst ENG we've ever made in the history of Medway. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, hey, Mr. Thorne, bro. Mr. T? Mr. T? Are you kidding me? Whoa. Man, I think we got a story here. Dude, let's get out of here before he sees us. Whoa. What? Being suspicious, we decided to press Mr. Thornborough for some answers. Mr. T, we saw you with a briefcase full of money. Can you explain that? Um, no, there's no briefcase. I, you know, I, I'm busy. I gotta go. You saw us looking at you. No, I didn't. We decided to talk to the head of the tech department, Mr. Machuk. Mr. Machuk, did uh, you give Mr. T a raise by any chance? A raise? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, that's not my job, actually. Strange. Um, we happened to see Mr. T with a briefcase full of money. Uh, could you explain that? Uh, no, not really. Um, no comment, actually. Uh, and I think I've got to go. decided to press Mr. Machuk even farther. Mr. Chuck, we have some questions about the... Oh, uh... Yeah. Um, I think you guys, this is probably not a good time. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you um, in a few minutes. We're going to keep on pressing the Chuck because we're suspicious, we know something's going on, and we're not going to stop until we find out what it is. Uh, Chuck, uh, we need the uh, things. What things? The... the things. Okay. What um, things? What is that? Uh, some student uh, project. Skateboard. It's a good student project. It is. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Exemplar now. Uh, there it is. Thank you. You were looking for a spoon. Yep. Come look at this. Come, come, come. Isn't it the skateboard? Yeah. Did that 
just happened? What's going on at Medway? Stay tuned next week to find out.